Uh, we have had some technical problems. Problem, problem. Yeah. Seems like everybody's got a price. I wonder how they sleep at night. When the sale comes first and the truth comes second, just stop for a minute and stop, 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 stop. This is not like your singing competition here. We're here to show you guys some amazing test footage of the PTZ Optics cameras. I'm all sorry. right, all right. I'm Next sorry. time, let's do it. Next time. I know that will maybe on your own personal YouTube channel. <laughs> so here we are. We're going to show you the 20X, the 30X, and the 12X. A 20x box cam. Mm -hmm. Everything that you guys asked for, we're gonna show it to you in a and a little video. bit of performance. A from little us. bit of performance because we wanted we did a little dancing to show you guys the cameras tracking and moving. But we're coming to you live from the Nauer, the Knauer Performing Arts Center, uptown Westchester, Pennsylvania, Performing Arts Center. We set it all up. We're gonna show you the footage first. Then we're going to show you how we set it all up. We did color correction. We did use a color checker. We used uh, white balance, gray cards, and we used the brand new vector scopes and uh, waveform monitors to really get a great exposure for this footage. So it's going to be story time, but also of, of how it all got set up, but also a very great, um, you know, just test footage in general for everybody. Let's get the show started. Here we go, guys. This is PTZ Optics Theater Case Study, take one. Hi, everybody. Here we are looking at the 12X SDI Form Yard Center in Uptown, Westchester, Pennsylvania. Right now, you're seeing us through the 12X PTZ Optics camera from 63 feet away, fully zoomed in. You're going to see both of us in this shot. And as we zoom out, you'll get a better sense of exactly how far away we are from the camera. Yeah, I think it's a great idea to start with the 12, as you said, Tess, because it gives you a good idea of how far we are. We switched to the 20X, and we're going to show you how far we are from that camera. Uh, but Michael was telling us, fully zoomed in with the 20X, we're still both in the shot. Okay. Yep. So with these, at this distance, uh, with these cameras, you will see both of us in the frame. So we'll go ahead and zoom out once again uh, to give you another good reference where the 20X is shooting from. Yeah, before we move on to th the 30X, uh, would you like to show all cameras in the frame? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's just show all of them in the frame. Uh, that's something that we've done in the past. Um, so maybe are we should, we'll show them all zoomed out real quick. All of them are zoomed out. Then we'll do all of them zoomed in. Um, and this is a good comparison to give you guys an idea of the differences between the 12, 20, and the 30. So now that they're all zoomed in, we can cut to a full screen of the 30. Sure. And the 30 is uh, at 63 feet, should be getting a head and shoulders of Tess. Um, yeah, right from, uh, uh, from 63 feet away, you're going to get roughly 17 inches tall by 30 inches wide in the frame. So we'll go ahead and uh, zoom out to show that. And this is a really good example. We look forward to showing you guys some movement shots in just a moment here, but that gives you our, uh, our pan tilting zoom shots. Track a presenter and how easy it can be. Um, you can see in the center here, we've got these nice big spotlights on. So I'm sure the image is looking great because the lighting is, is great. Seems like everybody's got a price. I wonder how they sleep at night. When the sale comes first and the truth comes second, just stop for a minute and smile. When they go back and forth, a lot of presenters like to walk as they go back and forth from a tracking shot like this, which looks really good on camera and kind of brings the audience, especially if you're live streaming. <laughs> All right, that's the show, guys. I think uh, we gave you a good example of what the cameras look like. Tess, come over here. Let's take a bow. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <gasps> Thanks for watching, everybody. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that amazing test footage. May the 4th be with you today. You might notice we have a special friend with us over here, PTZ D2. Yeah, PTZ D2. Say something to the, the audience.
PTZ Dito. You, they're great people. We love the audience. We don't talk to our friends like that. Okay, uh, if you want to comment in the chat, say something to PTZ D2. Tess will moderate. Please be good here. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed our test footage. It was hopefully a lot of fun. And today we've got a really fun show for you. Uh, we were at the Uptown Westchester Performance Arts Center. And today we're going to be looking at, of course, showing off the 30X camera. The 30X camera comes in multiple models. It's available in SDI or NDI in white or gray. Um, we just released a new open broadcaster software plugin, an OBS plugin, and we're looking for beta testers. So if you're out there, go to ptzoptics.com slash OBS to download a beta portion. Now the test footage we took was recorded in two different files. We recorded it in 1080p 60 at 32 megabits per second in an MP4 and an uncompressed version via AVI. But since we're live streaming to you right now, this is compressed. So you'll see in the next slide here that our show is being compressed to 4 megabits per second at 1080p 30 to YouTube, 720p 30 to Facebook. So if you want to download the, uh, the uncompressed versions of this test footage, just go to our homepage at ptzoptics.com and under the resources menu, go to test footage. Give me a moment because I haven't added it there, but, in, but soon we're going to have the Dropbox link if you want to have the completely uncompressed video. Give me about an hour after the show and we'll get that up there. We have outdoor test footage as well. So we showed you the indoor test footage today. We've got a lot more to show you, but there's outdoor as well. And of course, all the great stuff in the theater. So over to my co-host, Tess. Hi, guys. Once again, may the fourth be with you. We hope that you're feeling the Star Wars love today. Uh, we're going to be sharing with you some fun Star Wars flair throughout the whole show today. Maybe you recognize my Ray buns. Maybe not. But moving on, special shout out to Petra for giving us a PTZ R2D2 uh, guy the idea for that today. Thank you so much for sharing that in the user group. It's kick butt. We love it. Thank you so much. Oops. Moving on, today is also the last day for streaming awards nominations. So finalize your nominations, get them in at www.streamingawards.com because we are closing that out tonight. Here's a quick overview of some of the nominations that we have so far. Let's see. Let's check it out. Let's see who has been nominated oh, so Tim far Vandenberg for the streaming awards. from his VMix Fun Time Live show. Nice. Rob Baynard from Ready Take Live. That's from the... Uh, oh, you like them, R2D2. PTZD2. Aubrey Russell, also from Ready Take Live, the LiveX guys. Nick Agurka. Oh, yeah. Also from Ready Take Live. Those guys are in New York City. Stephen Street Haywood. Haywood. No Boundaries Outdoors. Awesome. Chad Burton with Palmetto High School Sports. Okay? Couple other fun ones here. Turan from Identify Radio. There's some new names that I haven't seen this year. So excited for that. Lee Travis as well. I know Kyle Gunderman's in here, someone. Jim Basque from Video Guys is in there. Geeks Life is nominated. Petra from the Tech Condo is nominated. Um, I think Luria is nominated as well. So we're so excited for that today, guys. We hope that you enjoyed the test footage. Let us know in the chat, what did you think? What was your preference on camera? Which one would you uh, go ahead and take home with you if you had the choice? Let us know in the chat. So really quickly, I wanted to mention our studio setup. So as you can see here, uh, we have our audio. We have moved over to the focus right. Uh, why have we moved over to the focus right? Well, um, it's, we found that it gets better audio than the Behringer that we were using. Uh, the Behringer was getting a little bit of a fuzz. It's a $99 mixer. This is a $399 mixer, so we're getting better performance there. We also have in-ear audio uh, monitoring systems. We're not using that right now because uh, we don't have any uh, guests to use that with, but if we did, we, we've got a really cool new in-ear audio monitoring system we'll tell you guys about in the future. Uh, we're using two four-port PCIe capture cards to bring in eight PTZ Optics cameras. You're going to see all eight cameras in this show. Not every show has that, but we've got some special wire. We've got some special green screen effects today. I'm using a Telestrator, which is working about half as well as I think it should. I'm not getting any NDI sources uh, to my Telestrator, but I get to Telestrate with it still. Uh, we've got an extra NDI computer that's connected to a green screen in our secondary set, which will be cool. We're going to show you that in a little bit. And a total of eight PTZ Optics cameras. We're streaming to YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch for our post show. 
We've got an IP joystick. We've got an X keys controller. And Michael likes to use his iPhone and his iOS app. And of course, we've got a huge custom built PC from Eastern Shore Broadcasting. So as our, sh as our shows change, as our setup changes, we'll be bringing you guys along for the ride. Another quick little thing I wanted to show you guys is this x right color checker. This is going to become a tool that you're not going to want to go without. Uh, it has a back and a front, and I'll show you guys how to use this. This is for going on site. Uh, when we were on site, you might have saw in the B-roll, but we went and uh, used all this with the VMAX color correction tools, waveform monitor, and um, vector scope. So I just want to show that to you. So really quickly, wanted to show you guys the history of optical zoom in a 60-second video from Nick Hall, University of London. Let's play. In 1939, an optical engineer named Frank Back emigrated to the United States of America fleeing the Nazi takeover of Austria. He settled in New York City and took up employment as a consultant engineer. Before long he was working on military contracts. Among his designs was a zoom viewfinder to be used by the combat cameramen of the Signal Corps. As the Second World War drew to a close, the American economy got ready for peacetime. Frank Back took what he had learned and developed a new form of zoom lens that could be used by newsreel cameramen. He called it the Zoomar. With the help of the industrial film producer Jerry Fairbanks and a Madison Avenue advertising executive named Jack Pegler, Back sold the Zoomar to Paramount News. They took it to the Yankee Stadium and used it to film the World Series baseball between the Brooklyn Dodgers and the New York Yankees. The new lens scored a home run. It transformed baseball coverage. So isn't that interesting? The history of optical zoom lenses actually stems from World War II and funding from the U.S. government. That's the very what was that? Lens. Yeah. Did you hear what PTC did you say? Oh, you actually uh, have some different information? No. That was not digital zoom no. in our 30x footage. Okay? Oh, my God. How could you say that? <laughs> if you guys have any questions in the chat for us or our PTZD2, let us know because we're at that part of the show where we're going to answer questions. We've shown you guys some really great test footage. Uh, we have some uh, great thoughts on how we got our show that I'll kick you off with real quick. And then we want to answer your questions. But here's how we got the test footage to optical um, enhanced and the enhanced, the best, the best footage that we could get. The first thing that we did was we calibrated the cameras. So before we went out, we were like, we want this footage to be amazing. So we recalibrated the focus of every camera. Mm -hmm. We also you decided that to, in order to get the best tracking shots and PTZ shots, that we wanted to use a network connection with the cameras. And we wanted to use the iOS app because it has the 360 degree PTZ um, wirelessly. So we brought a wireless router to do that and plugged it into a network switch. And that made sense because we used a PoE switch to power everything. Yep. Um, in order to record the, in the highest quality possible, you guys are not getting the highest quality stream to YouTube right now, but on your hard drive, we have, I think, I don't know, Michael, 20 gigabytes of video, uncompressed AVI files, and then very high bitrate MP4 files to share with you guys on the test footage page. I know it's something you guys have been asking for for a long time. We also went out outside, and Tess and I played a little basketball. We did. We had too much fun with that. Now, we found that it was slightly more challenging because it was really bright and sunny out that day. So we found it best to compile our test footage indoors uh, and save that outdoor footage for some fun outdoor applicable scenarios. Now, this color checker literally couldn't have been more hey, valuable. Hey, kids versus dad. I want to quickly talk about this. Um, you take a color checker and, of course, you see all the colors and you're able to do uh, so essentially what you want to do is you want to get your lighting as good as possible that is a three thousand dollar piece of paper <laughs> it is this, this piece of paper is like a hundred dollars um and it has a nice gray but it works as well so this side this gray side you zoom the camera into it and then no matter where you are you know if you're outside or you're inside at a bowling alley or you're in a different lighting you're in a studio you zoom the camera in and you can do a one push white balance on this card and it's built to do really great white balancing now this side 
just to, to explain, is if you put, uh, this is a white, this is a 25%, I believe, this is a 75%, and this is all black. So they're levels of black. So when you look at this in a vector scope, or maybe a waveform monitor, I'm still learning, uh, the, this part should show up as 50%, if that makes sense. So we're going to be having um, tutorials on that. It helps you get the perfect exposure. I can see even now our camera's just a little bit off. We're still learning, but I think the color matching that we've been working on is really, really improving our test footage. And uh, who won it? B-ball says Kyle. I guess you'll see. You'll, you'll see, see soon yeah, when guys, that when yeah, that video a, footage comes out. I think I, I'll claim I'll claim that I won, but really it's for you guys to decide. We're so fortunate to be able to have so much uh, in our community. I want to do a special thank you to the Canower Uptown Performing Arts Center in Westchester, who allowed us to come in yesterday and take all of that amazing test footage. And Brian, their tech director, was so awesome and willing to help us out with the lighting. And he, we, he even gave us a little field trip behind the scenes there. Just another great reason to just try reaching out to the local businesses in your area uh, and see how they can help you. Because in our area, everybody kind of want, wants to work together and we're really fortunate that way. So big yeah. shout out to you guys at Canower. Petra is asking about the card and I will say, that this, all right, so uh, we we have to take this really seriously. So we got this card, which is an X Rite. They make really high quality cards that, um, I guess I, I don't understand how they're made, but they're really. It is really a piece of paper, but not really. There's like this shiny plastic material, yeah. this matte material. It's more matte, and I, you can print out a piece of paper, but you can also buy one on Amazon for like ten dollars. And we were using that, and this is bigger, which helps. And this huge gray card is really valuable for the uh, color matching as well. So it's a little bit of a ripoff. Like when I opened this and saw that I paid 150 bucks for it, I was like, kind of wanted to return it to be honest. Cause I was hoping for more of a, you know, something. But anywho, anyway, we will. We're, we're going to get into it later. Ooh, oh, DJ D2 likes the color correcting. He likes the card. color corrector. Yes, he says it's worth the money. Do we have a view from the from uh, Mr. D2, or do we not get that far? Oh, there he is. Drake's what do you have to say? Oh, he's Aww. saying hi to you, Drake. What you looking at? Okay. Oh, don't roll your eyes at me. <laughs> don't roll your eye at me. <laughs> Too much fun. He's All right, such so a flirt. We have a really, really fun post show headed. So what I'm thinking is we'll, we're going to roll our, our um, credits. A couple things that we need to cover. Yes. The 30X is a new camera. Yes. How can they get it now that we show them the test mm -hmm. footage? The 30X is in stock, right, Tess? Okay. 30X you were just is over in stock at the warehouse in office. And you I just, just stole, stole one just stole for, one. Testing for testing purposes. I saw them. They are in our warehouse as we speak. To just so just reach reach out to sales at ptzoptics.com or uh, excuse me, wrong camera or your local reseller, whoever you uh, normally purchase through. And also, if you want to access that uncompressed test footage or review this test footage again. Head to ptzoptics.com slash resources under the resources tab on our personal website. You'll be able to access that test footage for uh, uncompressed viewing. So if you're excited for May the 4th, it's time to get a little crazy. We're going to head over to our Twitch channel and we've got a virtual set. <laughs> Michael, we've you missed got, a little bit. Um, someone's going to win <laughs> a live streaming camera or other great prizes. And it's all Star Wars based, essentially. So... We're going we're gonna to prep you guys on some Star Wars knowledge. Yes. So make sure you're headed over in your browser right now to twitch.com. Oh, excuse me. Twitch.tv slash sgeeks. Twitch.tv slash sgeeks. Oh. I will put it in the YouTube and Facebook chat. We'll see you guys there. Adam Riley's just asking really quickly, how much do the 20X cost? The 30X <laughs> cost versus the 20X. The 12X is $15.99. The 20X is $16.99. The 30X is $17.99 USD. All right, guys, that's our show. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys in a moment.
Play the Star Wars intro! When you're... <laughs> <laughs>